The role of diet in asthma prevention and treatment has been a very hot topic um, in, in the last five to ten years and has made a lot of uh, press this year at ATS, mainly because we've had a, num a number of studies that have shown relationships between individual dietary patterns and their asthma control or their propensity to, to uh, uh, develop asthma later in life. Um, a few of those highlights have been looking at people's intake of omega fatty acids, uh, vitamin D, as well as more global assessments of diet, such as the Mediterranean diet. So you'll be hearing a lot of press about those. It's still not clear what the relationships are. Um, some of the um, uh, findings that were presented relate to the individual relationship of what you're eating and its consequence on your asthma control. And it may not be so simple as that. Um, additional data was presented that looked at the relationship of diet as a susceptibility factor to other insults such as air pollution. In other words, does diet make you more resilient to the effects of air pollution or more susceptible on the flip side? And some of these res results are very promising in a way that can really empower individuals to say, okay, I'm faced with bad air pollution in my environment, but what can I do about it? And can I maintain a healthy diet to help buffer against the, the adverse effects of those exposures? And I'm hoping that we'll see a lot more in the future, particularly with intervention trials, to see if that can make a difference in people's health.